All right, well, we're trying this again. Uh, anyway, um, I forgot what I was talking about now. Let's just, I'll just start it over. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to A Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Uh, this is take two. We tried to make this video a few minutes ago, <laughs> and the, the dogs are just relentless tonight. The, the neighbor's dogs are barking. They're making our dogs bark. It's like take two. Uh, yeah, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Uh, we wanted, uh, wanted to do this video together because we haven't done a video together for a long time. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Uh, continue. Continue. Yeah. Uh, this video is about the fish cage permit, and all we had to do, uh, mostly what Marcel had to do to get all the uh, requirements. It was a lot simpler than the piggery permit because we didn't have to get a fire certificate, we didn't have to get an uh, engineering certificate, we didn't have to get sanitary, sanitary so permit. Many, yeah, yeah, so many permits. And it uh, takes like three months. Yeah, it took us like three months. This building took us, permit, also building permit. This took us parts of two days. So, um, the first thing that we got uh, was the barangay clearance for uh, for Maricel, and that's for uh, the Baranga here in, in Ta of Tanghalagi. And that's her, just, I don't know, it's just a, it's just a uh, requirement uh, that I guess the Baranga actually knows she's alive or something, who knows. No, that's really a requirement for yeah, everything. Uh, yeah, you know, you got your uh, Baranga clearance for everything. Baranga clearance, cedula. So we had to get Barangay Clearance, Cidula, and the Fisher Folk Certificate. Yeah. And I really don't know what the Fisher Folk Certificate was all about. It's a requirement. Yeah, this one. But, uh, well, yeah, it's just the Barangay Clearance. This is to certify that the person whose name, signature, and thumb mark appears below has requested a clearance from this Barangay, and the result is stated below. Uh, so it doesn't say what the clearance is for. Uh, it's, it's purpose. Purpose for fish and soap requirements, requirements. Yeah. Uh, which there were no requirements. Uh, we just went and we paid, and we got a Fisher Folk certificate. So mm -hmm. those are the three things that we had to do at the. Uh, this is the certificate of Fisher Folks. Yeah. Yeah. So it says this is to certify that the name mission below with the corresponding resident certificate number is a member of Fisher Folks Association of Barangay Tanghalagi Bahol. And uh, it's, all, it's complete with, with uh, many signatures. Mm. And so this cost, I don't know, a couple hundred pesos at the Barangay Hall. Uh, That's in, only 163. In Tanghalagi. And then we had to get a business clearance uh, From because we're getting uh, this, you know, we live in Tanghalagi, but the fish cage itself is in Barangay Santo Nino. Uh -huh. So we had to get a business clearance from Barangay Santo Nino, uh, and that was 300 pesos. And pretty straightforward. So we got that, I think, yesterday. And then today, uh, we had to get uh, Maricel's police clearance. And uh, they just take her picture, take her thumbprint. Yeah, that's really the police clearance. Yeah, it's very nice, yeah, very official yeah. looking. This is the police clearance since before, but the paper is, it's like more... Yeah, it's very fancy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much was the police clearance, Lub Lub? Uh, 160. 160. You pay 100 to the municipal treasurer and then 60 for the police station. Mm -hmm. And the police clearance, it says, uh, it blah, 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 yeah. and, and whose like picture, right thumb mark, and signature appear here on has undergone record check from this office and as of date indi indi indicated yielded the following findings, no re derogatory record on file. Yeah, it's, so it, I guess you're a good girl, yeah? Yeah, it's the yeah. same here. Oh, oh, oh. Where is the... It's not, no, no, 
derogatory record file in my office. Mm. That's, that's right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I, I guess uh, uh, criminals can't have businesses here. I don't know. Um, and what is this? The municipal seawaters user application form. Yeah. Now we've gone to to the uh, municipal seawater uh, resources management office, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. several times, and uh, Sir Alex there has been uh, very very helpful uh, in helping us get all this together, and and what we should do to get it. And uh, we listed. You have to list your. Uh, uh, prospective employees. Um, we've got Gabriel down here, and we're going to hunt up a couple more to list here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was—I uh, can't remember how much this was. Uh, that's that. Uh, that uh, how much is that? The list water. Uh, Five hundred, I think. Five hundred, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have yeah, another certification here from uh, this the, is the, the certificate. The, yeah, from the Department of Agriculture Rest. Uh, Office of the Municipal Agriculturist certification. Uh, to whom it may concern, this is the certified blah 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 blah. Uh, Provided that the operation do not go beyond. That the said, areas. fishing technique is legal. Provided that the operation does not go beyond the areas declared uh, fish port or restricted areas for fishing. Uh, and it's, it says who it's uh, being issued to uh, and what it is. It's a floating fish cage license. Floating fish cage license. You don't know how to read now. <laughs> I can read. See, it says floating fish cage. Yeah. Hmm. And what's the next? License. Okay, good. That's what I said. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and and then this one is how much is this? Uh, two thousand. For all of that, we got a mayor's permit, yeah. and uh, we got a green one and a white one. I don't know what the difference is in these. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, I guess one's a copy for us, and then the other one's a copy for us. But the breakdown on this. Uh, for the mayor's permit, um, we're proposing 20 cages uh, or 20 pins within the cage, and the fee for that is 500 pesos per individual pin in the cage setup. No. Yes. Yeah, I have cages. I don't think so. And so that was 10,000 pesos, uh, and that was... A mayor's permit is 200. Yeah. So the uh, for the cages themselves, it was 10,000 pesos. Uh, the mayor's permit was 4,000. Uh, the DA clearance, Department of Agriculture clearance, was 2,000. Uh, for each helper that you have listed, uh, each, yeah. each worker, it's 50 pesos. The Fisher Folk ID card times four because it's for Maricel and each of the three helpers yeah. is 50 pesos each for 200. Police clearance, uh, we, we should pay that 100. Six, uh, supposed to be 160, just 100. And the lease of municipal seawater was 500 pesos. Uh, barangay clearance is Barangay clearance, Sidula and Barangay uh, Fisher folks clearance. Yeah, she's got it written down here. The grand total for to get this permit for a floating sea cage is seventeen thousand four hundred and seventy-three pesos, which is uh, how much is that? Love three hundred and three hundred and forty dollars somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good for one year, and uh, sadly enough, we're going to have to redo this in January because it's from January to January. So uh, we've paid 300 and something dollars for a permit that's going to be good for three months. But uh, it's not wise to begin something like this without a permit. And we don't want to wait uh, until January 1st to begin this. So uh, we got the permit now, and then we'll just have to redo it again uh, in January. 
So, anything you would like to add, Lub Lub? Nothing. Nothing? No. All right, so it was a very straightforward process to get the fish cage permit, whereas the piggery permit, it, uh, it was a lot more hassle. You need to buy the extinguisher. Yeah, yeah. And I know that a lot of people uh, have said and leave comments and warnings about uh, all the terrible things that happen to foreigners here and Filipinos, Filipinos alike about getting shaken down by the municipality, uh, a barangay captain, a mayor, whatever it is, uh, for money uh, in order to get your permits and your licenses. No. And we haven't experienced anything like that here. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, anybody who's had those kind of experiences uh, were just jerks and we're getting a little bit of payback from the powers that be because we haven't had any kind of problem with that with the piggery permit or this yeah. Uh, fish cage permit. It's been just smooth sailing. Everything was straightforward. Uh, all the fees were uh, straightforward yeah. and uh, stated in advance. We haven't had any problems at all. So, is that it, Lub Lub? Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.